Chairman of the City Council meeting scheduled for 7 p.m. May 2nd. Will all come to order. Roll call. Councillor Hogue. Here. Councillor Kuevenen. Here. Councillor Lillis. Here. Councillor Hadrava. Here. Mayor Vasilovich. Here. City Council Workshop, April 4th. Approval of minutes, City Council. <laughs> oh, two of them? Okay. I thought I was uh, seeing double here. Minutes of City Council meeting, April 4th. Minutes of City Council Workshop, April 18th. And minutes of City Council meeting on April 18th. If no one has any questions or changes, call for a motion that we approve these minutes. So moved. Support. Motion made by Koivinen, support by Adrava. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Mm -hmm. Motion carried. Item D, approval of tonight's agenda. Anybody have any changes, additions, or deletions? Item, I'll just add one item 12, and that's to deal with the uh, days in demolition. We can talk a little bit on that. I think uh, county is looking for our agreement with them on that, but we'll take that as item 12. If no one has any changes, we'll call for a motion that we approve tonight's agenda with the addition of item 12. So moved. Made by Coyman, do I have support? Would you make that, Brian? Right? Be me. Made yeah. by Lillis, do I have a support? I'll support. Worked by Hogue, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Appointments and presentations. Reappoint William Aho to the Ableth EDA board. You missed the council meeting the other week, didn't you, Bill? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs> You've had a pretty close look like sitting in for you, but I got that. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You have a motion that we appoint William Aho, reappoint to the Ableth EDA board? I'll make that motion. Mr. Maybe Hadrava, do I have a support? I'll support. Support by Hogue. Any further discussion? Just want to thank you for your service, Bill. You've been uh, on the board for a very, very long time and uh, doing a great uh, deal of uh, diligence for the city of Evelyn. Appreciate it very much. Thank you. We'll get more aggressive. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't get enough punishment, eh? <laughs> Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. If anybody from the audience wants to address council at this point, we allow five minutes. <laughs> if not, we'll move on to the consent agenda, which is approval of payroll April 1st through the 15th and approval of claims for April. Anybody have any questions on either? If not, call for a motion. So moved. Made by Koivinen, do I have support? I'll support it. Board Member Rava, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. At this point, I will suspend the regular council meeting to have the public hearing on a proposed final assessment for 2015 LE improvement project for public hearing. At this time, I will uh, suspend the meeting and open up the public hearing. Is this the time I can play in? Is that you? <laughs> Is that you or what? No, it would be me, but I'm keeping quiet. <laughs> I was always taught nothing good to say, don't say a word. Well, I'm just worried, you know, we don't have enough seating in here. That's the, that's the problem. If not, nobody has any questions or anything, I will. There's no public input, anybody from staff or anyone? Council? If not, I will adjourn the public hearing and reconvene the council meeting. Unfinished business, we have none. Item J, J1, new business. Resolution adopting assessment for 2015 alley improvement project. Boy, it took a long time to close this out, eh? Anybody have any questions? If not, call for a motion that we adopt the resolution. I'll make that motion that we adopt this resolution. Motion made by Adrava. Do we have a support? 
I'll support. Support by Oak. <laughs> Any further discussion? <laughs> All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? The motion carried. <laughs> Item two, amended and reinstated the electric utility facilities easement agreement between the city of Evelyn and Minnesota Power, I'm assuming. What are we changing here? I thought we were good. This is just a uh, combined easement agreement, Mayor, uh, that took a bunch of existing easements oh, okay. and combined all of them together. If you look at the last page, you'll see the overall easement exhibit with all the new easements laid out where they are and combined into one accessible oh, okay. document. All right. So you just basically clean that up, eh? That's correct. So some council 20 years down the road won't run into any problems like we've been. This is for a new project. Yeah. Yeah, because I assume all the easements are there, but there's so many of them. Just group them all and uh, you have one. Anyone have any questions on this amendment? This doesn't affect our sliding hill? No. No. Okay. That's existing easements they already have. Mm -hmm. But there's through the years, you just keep piling them on top of each other. They condense them into one. It makes like a house cleaning. It makes it a little easier to understand. <clears throat> they probably appreciate it, too. That's one big project. Well, you know, you you see when we got the land, now there's a covenant, you gotta get that released. I mean, this is the kind of stuff you run into. You're hoping to avoid that for whatever future expansion you might have to do there. Any other questions? Call for a motion and we approve this. I'll make that motion. Motion made by Drava, to have a support. Support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number three. Bids for purchase of lots located at 609 Garfield and 625 Sum Summit. Well, let's just jump to the 625 Summit first. That's kind of the easy one. We had two bidders. And I guess we just go with the high bidder. Peggy Hayden, she owns the property next door. $1,111, we're a little easier to deal with than a county, you know. <laughs> <laughs> if no one has any questions or objections, I call for a motion that we accept the bid of uh, Peggy Hayden. For so moved. 625 Summit. Motion made by Koivinen, do I have a support? Support. Support by Hogue, any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed, motion carried. 609 Garfield, we <clears throat> got two bids and uh, from two neighbors, but they're kind of uh, really different. You've got one bid, which is basically a proposal that they will build a 28 by 40 garage within two years, and one is just a bid for the lot. They're, they're really close, but these people have been neighbors for a lot of years. And I think, uh, Jackie, did you say maybe you and uh, Joel, because I, I know they've been trying to work something out for another parcel there. So since this is on the packet do we have to make a motion to refer back to you guys to investigate it or so you can okay. just direct them and basically table it and uh, all right come, come to agreement and yeah we want to make everybody happy with this so we just figure we're gonna right talk with you first because so. this wasn't the first discussion that yes. the neighbors they've been neighbors forever up there well we'll leave it in your hands Jackie and Joel See what you can work out there, because I, I, I think you can put something agreeable together. Item number four, provo proposed ordinance amending the city code, chapter five, section 5.42, entitled sports convention or cultural facilities lease, entitled Sunday sales. What? Why don't you give me the rundown? I'm running out of breath here. So what, what we've done, is made it uh, easier for people that want to oh, say rent the new the newly remodeled auditorium okay. and have someone come in and serve alcohol in that facility this allows them to uh, ask the city administrator uh, for the permission to do that in uh, this you know at the same time that they would put in their request to rent the facility 
or maybe even within less time if there wasn't time for them to bring it before the council. The previous, uh, the previous ordinance didn't allow for that. So what we've done is just made that uh, a more friendly policy to be able to do that and uh, identified what the surrounding communities are that we would accept the, the on-site liquor license of uh, for, for renting that facility or other facilities within the city. Uh, that's the first one. Do you want to take them one at a time, Mayor? Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> Yeah, that's it. Anybody have any questions? I know we talked about this. Because if we have to wait for the council <coughs> meeting in the summer, we have one. You know what that's like? Because we ran into a little issue there almost with the uh, roller derby down the hip. It was kind of pushing the envelope. But no one has any questions, Joel, or anything? We call for a motion that we approve this amendment to the city code. I'll make that motion. Made by Drava, from support. Support. Support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number five, change order number two for range cornice heating and sheet metal in the amount of $10,635. Evelith Auditorium air conditioning installation. Is it working? Bradley wants to know. It has not been energized yet, but this change order was for an item we had um, in our plans separately from the air conditioning, and it turns out the air conditioning contractor is the one that did the work to clean the ductwork and patch the duct. Oh, okay, remember, we discussed that too. Well, Joel, what, are you giving this your blessing here or what? I'm not happy about it, but like I, told, like I said at our other meeting is, you know, this is something that we don't know what we're getting into when we do it, you know. It's not like a bid coming for hauling sand or for bidding something else where all of a sudden we get a $5,000 change order for no reason. This is just something they've been dealing with a bunch of crap up with an old building, you know, and I guess we, uh, I'll make the motion that we have to pay it. Well, you know, it's, it, it's when you get them old buildings, that's kind of new territory, and we're coming to the end of the trail here. Well, that's like when we walked in there and I saw the, the floor joists broken. You know, nobody can foresee that, though. No. But what you have to realize from our point of view is it has to be fixed. Otherwise, everything we've done to this building is was a waste of our time. And hopefully, you'll get a chance to come and look at it because it's going to be a first class operation. And there's been a lot of money, sweat, and a lot of thinking going on to get this place up and running and it's been taking a long time there's a lot of people that you can thank for it but it'll be something to see well council made a big commitment you know it's yes this the facility is needed the purpose of it that's for sure okay can i call for a motion are we approve change order number two so moved motion made by coyman we have support 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 by hogue any further discussion all in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. <coughs> and item number six is a pay request for Range Cornice Heating and Sheet Metal in the amount of $1,908 for Everett Auditorium Air Conditioning Installation. Is this the final? have any questions or anything got a motion from Brad to this is the change or this is the pay request <coughs> making a motion do I have support I'll support support by hold any further discussion <coughs> all in favor aye. aye opposed motion carried item number seven <laughs> <laughs> Take wow well, well you know I, I was laughing when I was going over this pack <laughs> Again, I'll let the mayor say it, and then I'll say something. Change order number three for Max Gray Incorporated for $17,953. Was this extra stuff, Jackie, we wanted done? This was the, the underlayment in the main auditorium, 
It is the main door on the south end. I was standing in the vestibule and I looked at it and I go, huh. It had this really old fashioned, ugly plastic trim. And I said, if you have some leftover trim, can you trim it out to make it look like the rest of the building? They did. There was some old wiring and an old box cover by the stage. It was just hanging there looking like it didn't belong. And then there were some holes in the murals on the east and west wall where there had been some old piping long, long ago. And those were patched and the muralist is in there right now touching those up. You know, and again, we didn't have, we didn't have two bids so we could go back on the other bid to see if this one was legitimate or not. You know, we're going flying by the seat of our pants on this because it's an old building and we are fixing it up right. And there's extra costs and this just happens to be one of them. Well, you know, Max Gray, they've done a lot of old buildings and a yes. lot of new buildings for many, many years around here. So it's not like it's their first radio, rodeo. They know what to do. I'll make the more so. So call for a motion that we accept change order number three from Max Gray Construction. I got the motion. Okay. Motion made by Hogue. Do we have support? Support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Number eight, quotations for furnishing fertilizer, fungicides, and insecticides for the golf course. <clears throat> and this is a... This is a yearly, yearly thing for us. Well, who are you recommending, Jerry? Oh, I'm recommending to buy uh, eight of the products from MTI uh, and three products from uh, TESP. And we set up the quotation package so we can pick and choose oh, okay. the lowest bidder or um, the best product that's what, what's been working for us. So. Okay. No one has any questions. A call for a motion that we accept the recommendation of the Public Works Director on the purchase of these items. Okay. So I'll support. Motion made by Hogue, support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number nine, resolution accepting donation for the K-9 unit. We've got two anonymous and Doug and Judy Heipel. You see, uh, did you see the picture? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know, Hugo, if you could get a close-up of uh, one of the anonymous ones. <laughs> it's, uh, Tim, where did you find that? In the uh, parking ticket? Uh, yes, Mayor and Council, it was uh, obvious there were two young uh, children who each put a dollar in an envelope with a picture of the dog on it uh, saying thank you. So, um, greatly appreciate it. It, you know, everybody's awesome. aware. It is awesome. It's it's really cute. Really, uh, really interesting. I'll tell you, everybody's aware of what's going on. Well, if no one has any questions, I call for motion. We accept the resolution accepting donations for the K9 unit. I'll make that motion, Mayor. Motion made by Drava. Do you have support? I'll support. Support by Koivinen. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 10, resolution accepting donations from City Auditorium. $10,000 from Northern Lights Music Festival, and that's uh, on behalf of the Cliffs Foundation. And $400 from Catherine and Martin Bassett. This eases the pain a little bit from the last change order. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's uh, really something. Catherine and Martin, it's in the honor of uh, Dr. Goulon and his wife. Long time members of the community, probably went to a lot of events in that building. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got a call at home one day and asking for accepting donations. And what we have to do is get a some kind of a thing on a wall so we can record all the donors. Because mm -hmm. I, I think you're going to be seeing a lot of that somewhere in the vestibule where you come in. So Stephanie and I were thinking, when you go through the vestibule and before you enter the main auditorium, on the right-hand side is an old frame with glass in it where they use boats things, and she's going to make up something very classy like she always does, 
and start a list of the donors so it'll be kind of permanent there. Nice. Yeah, I think you're gonna I think you're probably gonna see there's a lot of memories with that place, especially now when it's opening and people start going in there, you hear tons of talking about it. Mm -hmm. Really uh, it really hit a nerve with the community started resurrecting that building. Do we vote on that, Steph? No. No. And do we have a motion and a motion. Oh. I'll make a motion that we accept it. I'll awesome. support it. Well, go ahead. Motion made by Koivinen. Supported by Hogue. Any Aye. further discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Item number 11, resolution accepting donation for the library in memory of Ellen Rousey from Brian and Karen Barris. Another long fixture in the community. Boy, Ellen. She worked at the library, I can't even remember how many years. Many, long, long time. Many, many years she was a fixture up there. Yeah. That's part of the history of the community. With that, I'll, uh, I'll make a motion we accept that. Motion made by Draba. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Lillis. Any further discussion? All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. And item number 12, I'm, I'm just excited about this. Days in demo. And that's, uh, <laughs> Jackie, what is the county looking for from us? They're looking for a statement of support for their intent to demolish the building. Tell you what, we've been working on that for six years, everybody. It finally happened. Do we have five personal supports? <laughs> <laughs> what, they need some council action on that, Jack? Yes. Well, I'd like to ask for a motion that we uh, support the county on their proposed plans for demoing the days in. So moved. Motion made by Lillis. Do I have a support? Support. Support by Drava. Any further discussion? It's been, a, it's been an uphill battle, but uh, we hung in there and it looks like uh, that's another one. There's light at the end of the tunnel. So what, um, what kind of time frame or what's the next steps here or what can the community look to see coming up now? Well, the county. Those going to be questions. Yeah, so the county is working on removing many of the items that were left in the building, and there is a lot of stuff, right, Jim and Jerry? We've all been up there. So they're looking at removing some of that, and then I believe they're going to try to go solicit some bids in June, and they're trying to um, <coughs> get some funding through the IRRB, through their own funds, to hopefully get it demoed this year, and then we have to acquire the property by like January of next year. Thank you. I was out the IRRB and uh, they had planned all along jumping in with the county on that building. It's going to be a big, big project to take it down and then it's going to take some some good thinking and something to get somebody up there and some good marketing. Get some good marketing going. <clears throat> so it's kind of unique. I guess they're going to grind it up. And what do you make road material out of that now? It's kind of like what they're doing out It's on the like highway. what they're doing yeah. out on the highway now. That's kind of what's going to happen. Things are coming a long way. Yeah, it's been, oh man, what a struggle with that thing. You know, the only sad part is I've been going up there, you know, we have some people around that uh, they're breaking windows once a week up there, twice a week. I know that I have to talk to the chief a little bit and he's got to call the county. So if you're watching, please don't go up there and break stuff. We're trying to do something good for the community and we don't need any little buttheads doing this stuff. <laughs> because all you're going to do is hurt yourself and then try to sue us or the county. And you know what? Just stay away from there, please. But all I can do. Yeah, that's all. Plea for him to stay away from it. That's what happens to any house, boy. Because there's speaking. not much copper left in there. The other owners <laughs> took that out. So I have noticed driving on Hatchet <coughs> there that there has been more of a police presence going through there. Uh, Mayor and Council, um, uh, there has been an increase of uh, vandalism uh, at the site. Uh, we are doing our best to document. Um, um, I'm requesting my officers do extra patrolling up uh, on the site. I have been I have a message into the county as of today because there's some additional damage um, that is going to need to be repaired. But um, you will see a, a, a very much of a more police notice uh, uh, up there. So let the let the dog loose up there. <laughs> let him run the halls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not healthy. No. <laughs> Any, any further discussion on that? If not, all in favor? Aye. 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 <coughs> Opposed? <coughs> Motion.
motion carried. <coughs> Had a couple of items to bring up. This one here, we are having an open house June 13th from 4 to 7 at the City Auditorium. So everybody can uh, get, get a good look at it. If there's any questions, and everything should be ready to roll. And this Thursday at 7, we are having an event. A band, band will be playing, and we have one of the original band directors' sons who, was, who directed it in the 20, Major Chinette. His son will be there to pick up the honors. It's, it's really kind of interesting. 100 years later, the, the son of the original band director will be up there to kick things off. It's a, it should be a real, real interesting event. I get a lot of feedback. And, be kind of exciting because this is the first time we've actually opened it to the public and everybody can get a good look. I think there's a few cosmetic things we got to touch up yet in there, but kind of minor. And I hope to see a lot of people up there. That's about all I've got. Uh, Brian, you got anything to add? No, I uh, training me was canceled this past month. Um, but we have another man soon, so. Otherwise, I don't have any. Any other items? Joe, you have anything to bring up? No, nothing. Brian, you got anything to add? Well, just uh, get a plug in for our fire department again. They're having their Duke Scorch barbecue on Saturday between 10 a.m. and 3 p.m. at the Eveleth IGA. Um, always a, a good place to go grab a sandwich and, and visit with some folks. Um, the citywide rummage sale kicks off on Friday at 9 a.m. It runs from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. both Friday and Saturday. It's um, I used to always refer to this as the, one of the most dangerous times to be <laughs> traveling in the city of Eveleth. But um, yeah, keep that in mind. There's going to be a lot of stop and go traffic. There's going to be a lot of people that aren't paying attention to their driving. They're looking more at uh, the next sale that they're going to be going to so keep that in mind and stay safe but please come and frequent uh, all those events that's all Mary. thank you yeah you you call that one right that's going to be uh like you say darting out of alleys and nobody paying attention bradley you have anything to add just a couple of things mayor uh first of all I'd, our uh ely lake veterans park has opened as of yesterday officially uh, camping is starting and we have increased police protection out there also so <laughs> uh, have fun camping be safe and uh, don't do any damage to our park we work very hard to make it as nice as it is uh, second of all uh, the county is doing a 101 highway 101 this summer out to uh, the four corners and that is fail road out to the four corners um, and they're going to rename it to Joe Baggage and that is a uh, an honor that he deserves for all his years of hard work for Eveleth and for the state of Minnesota and thank you very much Joe. I think they're going to start that construction mid-August mid so the other road with the bridge should be almost done so you won't have two places plugged up that's the first thing I thought of. You've got that construction, and you'd have this out here. But uh, they should be pretty much done when they road open over the bridge when they start this one. So, do we bid our projects out too for to coincide with that? All, all three of your uh, scheduled projects are have been bid out. And oh, okay. I hope we get some competitive pricing so when they do that one, get the whole thing done. Because that is just a terrible road going out there to the four corners. <clears> oh, <throat> the smoothest part is the railroad track now that they <laughs> fixed that. <laughs> yeah, I, I couldn't believe it one day I was coming that way. And you, you see cars pulled over, and uh, one of the presidents out there said he came one day and there's a, the police had somebody pulled over in the middle of the road. And he's wondering, well, what are they doing there? went by the wheel on the car was broke off <laughs> just hanging that that's where it stopped that's how bad those tracks were but they got that part done 
Bradley, nothing else to bring up? Not at this time, Mayor. Uh, I'm, I'm a little bit, well, I do have one more thing. I'll start it and you can finish it. What's that? I'm a little disappointed at uh, the way things worked out with the, with our city of Gilbert and our offer to help with help them with their sewer problems. Uh, there's some things going on there that I'm not happy with. I would have liked to think that we were there to help them, uh, but the paper made it sound a little bit rougher than it really was. So uh, with the paper, with the numbers and everything that's happened, I'm I'm just. Not totally in agreement with the way it was printed. Well, the the whole thing, it, there were a lot of players involved. You had Congressman Nolan's office, you had our state senator, our representative, and this basically was for a feasibility study. That's what it was for. And Congressman Nolan's office was kind of putting things together. And I had a call from the mayor, one of the councilmen over there asked if we were interested. I just wish they would have called and said, we're going another direction because you know I, I missed uh, steak and eggs down Mary's morsels to sit over there and hear that. <laughs> you know, it's taking a little more consideration of your time, but you know, it's up to them to do what they want. You know, if they want to go another direction, but uh, <clears throat> everybody was kind of caught back when I called uh, Congressman Nolan's office because there were a lot of things said and the information. I didn't look at the figures. I looked at them. They didn't make a lot of sense. But they said it isn't an object, a project of Evelyn's. I don't care. Yep. You know, it's, it's uh, somebody called me and and asked me, and I said I didn't look at the figures. They said how, and I don't know if these figures are correct. It cost 22 million to hook up Kinney, Buell, Chisholm to Hibbing, and that's like 15 miles. How does it cost 17 billion to go three miles? <laughs> so I, I said I didn't look at the numbers. I didn't care. You know, they're they're not ours. But you know, I wish them luck on that project. If that's the direction they want to go, but I just wish they did a little more consideration for our time because I know Jerry was over there, we had our engineer over there, Jackie was there myself. And like I say, a decision was made and that, that's totally up to them. But it was just was just for a feasibility study. And I think Congressman Nolan's got enough uh, power with the present administration to get an extension for them through the EPA. He's been there a long time respected over there in Congress and with the new administration uh, I, I think they would be more than happy to work with them on something like that but you never know wait for them wait for the next time opportunities come up this is all a learning curve for everybody these big projects because I think we're in a different watershed than they are aren't we Rod as far as the plant I think that like discharges yeah yeah, and that I think it changes the requirements for the what is that lead, <clears throat> mercury? I mean, there's a number of these phosphorus, mercury. Yeah, I think there's different criteria for they're more strict than we would be. I'm pretty sure, but I haven't spent too much time looking at that. But uh, it's it's complicated stuff, and getting the money is more complicated. And like I say, I, I had to commend. Uh, our representative, our senator, and Congressman Nolan's office, they really were proactive and jumped in. There's one, they're the ones who called us if we were interested. I said, well, yeah, it's gonna help somebody because Evelyn wouldn't see a direct benefit for probably five, 10 years from it because we're already up and running and permits good, plants up to date. But that's, that's a big burden on a community, a project like that. It's expensive and you gotta, you gotta do it right because, boy, you don't wanna have any change orders with that kind of a project and get freaking ugly. You'd really be in a bad mood, Joe. Cool. <laughs> Tim, you got anything to add? Uh, Mayor and Council, I would just like to remind the public uh, we reach a pivotal time of year where calendar parking has uh, ended. But uh, <laughs> with that, um, the blight season is underway. Um, our officers and myself are already fielding a number of um, blight complaints um, through the, our, our various neighborhoods and would like to remind the public and be diligent about um, cleaning up your properties um, just to avoid these complaints. Um, some residents and landlords might be seeing some um, literature coming your way in reference to um, their violations of their property. So if anybody has any questions on um, on what they're receiving or on the blight ordinance, please give the police department a call. Jerry, you have anything to add? 
Uh, the only <coughs> thing I could uh, add to that is um, we do have the spring cleanup still going on, and that goes on till the end of next Friday. Okay. Not this Friday, the week. The week. Are we open uh, late now? We're open late this week. The next week back to right about. I suppose what doesn't sell at the next. garage sale will be down there, eh? We got a lot of good stuff out there. <laughs> <laughs> Rod, you got anything for us? Uh, nothing else to report. Jackie? Joel? Nothing else from me, man. No, we'll see what kind of arbitrators you guys are here. Did anybody from the audience have anything to add? If not, I'll adjourn the meeting. Go gamble again.